Hello everyone and welcome to this week's one pot today. We're looking at Knockout City, the 3v3 dodgeball-esque PvP game. Uh, okay, I have to say, uh, if you like fast-paced, like incredibly fast-paced, I found most of these matches, even the ones that were really close, only lasted a few minutes, like a, two or three minutes tops. A lot of these matches were... Uh, there's a lot to like here. Uh, it is very twitchy, which kind of is an issue for me. Okay. Let me try to explain. So, sorry. we have our Xbox controller here. So, uh, left trigger, oh, right trigger, sorry. I'm, backwards left trigger uh is how you catch the ball if he throws it uh right trigger is how you charge up and throw a ball um your left bumper is like you can ask for someone to pass or throw you that's the mechanic i'm getting to it right bumper here lets you go into ball form cool standard jump you have standard jump. Uh, press it again while airborne to get a glider. Uh, dash, any direction. Usual junk with the stick and that to, to dash in the direction. Uh, I think this is somersault forward flip and this one's a twirl. Okay, so you actually have all these face buttons here are put to um, reversal. And so all your face buttons are traversal and trying to throw off the enemy with your positioning. Now, that all works well in theory, and I think if you're if you're someone who loves PvP games, twitchy PvP games, and don't necessarily like a game like Call of Duty or something shootery. You might have a lot of fun with this, and I, I'm not trying to be negative, and I'm not trying to say that that Knockout City doesn't have its positives, because it, it definitely does. Um, it has an interesting theme, has this kind of like 1950s sort of cyber future aesthetic going on, and I kind of dig it. Um, I like the um, the uh, narrator slash radio jockey guy he's funny in his own way like he's just <laughs> he's pretty funny um i kind of like his uh the, the voice actors oh, yeah daddy yo you know like he's very very fifties like trying to be hit you know like, if you ever watch Grease, you maybe know what I'm talking about. Um... What else is there? Like, I explained the controls, basically, uh... You try to throw off your opponent and get... The, um... Get some, uh, sweet, sweet knockouts. Uh, it takes two hits with normal things. I mentioned the ball mechanic, where the player can become a ball, and you can use that kind of as a dodge sometimes, and you can roll out of harm's way, but you can also... You can also uh, use it to become a ball and let one of your teammates throw you, and if they charge you up the whole way before they throw your character, you get to like become like the aerial strike and again there's a lot of cool ideas in there it kind of reminds me of uh was it the, 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 the ninja gum game uh i don't remember what it's called then like ninjala or something that felt like splatoon with melee weapons this feels like maybe like a mode a, I'm vaguely remembering a mode in Quake 3 Arena that was like uh, some sort of skull. Like, I, I haven't played Quake 3 Arena in so long. 
someone's gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. But, um, like, it feels like some of those old school, like, fun modes. Uh, like, there was one in uh, Halo, isn't it? It's like, it's like you hold the skull a little different. It feels like a full implementation of a one of those silly mod games. So, something someone comes up with, like Dota or whatever. Um, do I recommend this game? I, I have to say that um, matches are short enough and the player base seems pretty healthy and, and it does seem like a pretty well put together game besides a few matches near the end which might be my internet. My internet kind of gets weird around 1.30, 2 in the morning. But I think else I really want to say about it. Like honestly in the time it's to told me taken me to talk about it uh you could have played like three or four matches it is free right now up to level 25 i played for about 40 minutes and got half a dozen or so matches maybe like closer to 10 matches in no seven or eight matches probably so like half a dozen like i said originally and the matches are quick like you're in you're playing in just a few seconds and they tend to be pretty one-sided from what i have played now i did have one where we almost made a comeback and it came down to the last um uh, 1v1 but for the most part i think knockout city is you don't lose anything by giving it a try um i i will say that it is very fast paced, uh, much more fast paced than I was expecting. Like I got the base mechanics, there was a tutorial that was actually really good and separated into two parts. Um, going over traversal, how to throw the ball, how to become the ball, how to break out when you become the ball. Also when the enemy team gets you, it's quite the game things i noticed um the matchmaking is weird uh i felt like i was getting put against a lot of higher ranked people than me not that that really matters in a game like this like except they just have more experience with the game it would have been nice to put with players that are lower level or someone who doesn't understand the game as well so i could try and figure things out because there seems to be some deeper mechanics like i noticed um the top button here, like I said, did, uh, you do like a forward somersault spin type dealie. You can charge up the ball and throw it off that. If you do that, the ball lobs and it arcs. So there's obviously a whole lot more mechanic wise that's there, but it makes some of these games back and forth and other ones just straight up waterfest and the first few i played a, a lot of the games i played I, I lost i don't think i won a single one and that could be up to my own lack of skill and trying to understand or just my own inept nature at games like this honestly you could do worse i have played much worse games that earth multiplayer uh, i still think bleeding edge is far worse this one is knockout city is something and it's hard to put my finger on it like i said it feels like a fully fleshed out mode that someone made for another game like again halo or quake 3 because those games have lots and lots of odd game modes and just custom game modes. Um, the visual style is pretty good. Um, it looks good. It runs nice on the Xbox Series X here. Maybe I should have tried it on PC with the uh, uh, Elite controller. Elite Series 2 controller. But I think I'd be throwing myself off with the back buttons. Because I'm still not super adept at using them and again 
That is no fault of the controller. I don't want anyone to think that I'm like the the machine is the problem here, because it's not. I was playing on a Series X. It's probably the same if you played on a regular Xbox or played on Steam. Switch. I don't know. Switch is a tough call. Um, I don't care for the game quite enough to say that I should just try it on other things. But if you're playing it on least a uh, base. PS4 or Xbox or Series X or PS4 Pro, you should be fine. The Switch version, I don't know. The game appears to have crossplay. I'm under the impression it has crossplay. I think it says here on the Microsoft Store if I check quickly, it's got crossplay. But that could just be with PC. You know, because that's the thing that they do. Uh, cross platform, Xbox cross platform multiplayer. I don't know what that means. But, uh, yeah, it's got updates for Series X and S. To be honest, I'm. If I'm sitting at my desk, I'm just gonna play it the Series X. Uh, it's only like eight or so gigs, so it's pretty fast to download. It's probably not too bad. Now it's tough to Blue say. Takes the lead. Um, the the thing that that sucks is um I don't know if it's it probably supports 120 hertz mode. Didn't see anything in the menu for it. But it's included with Game Pass Ultimate. But like I said, it's also just free to play up to up to level 25. And there might be a bunch of people just avoiding paying for it. Maybe, maybe kids that are just making new accounts all the time to play for it. Is it still, was it 20 bucks? 26.99. Well, 29.99 Canadian, so probably at 25 ish bucks. So. You know, I think I've lambered enough here back and forth upon it. Knockout City is not my kind of game. It is not going to replace Overwatch as my multiplayer game of choice. And I don't think many games will dethrone Overwatch for me. Um, there was that other game, was it Super... What's it called? Super Animal Royale. That looks interesting, but... Meh. It seems the perfect kind of game. It's one of those esports games. And. Again, I don't think it's reached its final form. I think it will have a fairly long life ahead of it. It had had a decent start from what seems to be a very small studio just backed by EA. Because it's an EA original, which means. It's interesting to me how EA's pushing this so hard but basically giving you 25 levels worth of free play is not a bad idea Gold team wins. Hmm. so uh, have you tried it knockout city how do you feel about knockout city let me know in the comments below um do i just suck and i'm missing something entirely until next time Mata